Okay, I'm going to cover creating a hats project uh, from scratch and um, skipping screens and creating macros and stuff like that. Um, so to start a hats project or create a new hats project, you do File, New, and Hats Project. And give it a name. Everything else the same. But next, uh, the host name that we're using here is the iseriesd.dfw.ibm.com, which is, I guess, like a dummy uh, test system that IBM has out there for us. Uh, 5250, uh, port 23, United States, and 24 by 80. That's all default. Um, we're going to use a standard uh, appearance and behavior theme. Next, and we're going to be using the um, swirl template. As you can see, there are a bunch of templates out here that we could use, that we could pick from. Um, well, that's cool. Um, we're going to be using swirl for this one. So, we click finish, and what Hats is going to do now is create a framework for us to build our Hats project from. Um, it's going to be using default rendering, uh, given the template that we've chosen. Uh, global, uh, it won't apply any global rules because we haven't um, put any in there yet. And um, it'll apply the template that we chose and use a standard behavior. Okay. Once Hats has completed creating its, um, creating the project for us, uh, it'll give us this little congratulations you've created a hats project box so we can just click OK uh, there and we'll see here on the overview page um, our connection information which is what we uh, entered there before um, the fact that we chose the swirl template and that we chose the standard theme um, as I mentioned it doesn't have any uh, global rules because we haven't put any in and it's using default rendering uh, based on the hats default. Okay, what we're going to do now is open uh, the host terminal for this project. So in order to do that, you right click on the name of the project, click open hats host terminal, and click main. And it'll open the ES400 um, screen for us. Don't worry about that little modal blo box, just click OK and it'll go away. And just type in the uh, username and password. Um, get to the main menu and this is where we're going to start um, creating our macro. So in order to create our macro we click on the record macro button. So click that. Um, we can use uh, the name like price query. Click finish. Um, what this is doing is uh, determining where the starting screen for the macro is and we're basically telling hats we want you to look for the word and we're going to click we're going to select main here uh, we want you to look for the word main as the opening screen for this macro uh, so we do that click finish and the next step in our um, macro is to go to the or start the query manager which um, in the AS400 the command is strqm Type STRQM and select 3 for work with query manager tables. And we're going to select a um, screen recognition criteria here also because we want hats to stop and recognize the screen. So we click that. Uh, and we want to select the specify collection or library text. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, right. Select that. Um, the rest of that should be okay. Um, what we're just telling hats to do is look for this text um, on the screen. Okay, finish. And what we're going to type here is WHI demo. I think it's the name of the library. Okay. And um, this is our um, our work with query manager tables uh, screen. 
So here we're going to enter 5 for display table, and we're going to enter the name of the table rather than scrolling down and looking for it. It's JK underscore catalog, and we hit enter. And um, this is where we specify the criteria for our query. So we type in sales underscore price, uh, GT for greater than. And when we get to value, what we're going to want to do is add a prompt action. So we click this uh, icon here for add prompt action. Uh, we want hats to recognize this screen by the text find data in query manager. You can deselect um, number of input fields and cursor position. Uh, next and finish. And the name we're going to put here is price. Leave everything else the same. Click OK. And the value we're going to enter here is just kind of a dummy value. It'll prompt us for it. Um, we'll put a dummy value in here of 50 uh, just so that it continue. It will continue with the macro. Click OK. As you can see, the value is then put into the AS400 screen. OK, from here, after the value is there, we click Enter. And that will bring up um, the result of our query. What we're going to want to do now is record a loop so that the system, our hats, knows to continue to look for all the data that um, is satisfied by the criteria. So we click record a loop. Um, we can go to next from here. Um, tell hats to look for the text display report. Click uh, finish for that. And this is the part that can be kind of tricky, because it's kind of hard to get this cursor in the right p place. But you um, select the columns, or select the data portion of the screen. Okay, after we've uh, gotten this, we do the Add Extract Action button. And what we're going to put in for name is output, something real original like output here. Um, extract this region as a table. And as you can see, <coughs> ADS does its best to um, translate what's here into kind of like an HTML table.